So, you're off to your job interview. Looking good, Hotshot. It's not just about having the right gear, though. Maintaining good body language will help you secure that job interview and make the right impression, without saying a word. You're not hungover, you're wearing tidy attire, and you've made the effort to polish your shoes. It's a good start. Your manner and your dress sense certainly say a lot about you, but your body language can still let you down. Here's what you need to know before you walk into that interview room. Yeah. It's always difficult greeting someone for the first time. <laughs> A little aggressive. <laughs> Your interviewer knows you want the job, so don't astound them with an overconfident gesture. Avoid nose flicking, high fives, air kisses, or jazz hands. Play it simple and mirror their handshake grip to avoid dominant vibes. The interviewer will show you to your chair. This is the all-important hot seat, and the way you sit conveys a lot of information. <coughs> Take a moment to position and get comfortable. Hmm? <laughs> but not too comfortable. Uh. <sighs> oh. Look relaxed. It encourages your interviewer to feel at ease in your company. However, no matter how informal the discussion, avoid slouching. You're not at home watching the telly now. An interview is not the time to come over all shy and retiring. <laughs> Folding the arms across your chest or turning the shoulders away conveys a nervous, negative or even aggressive attitude. That's it. Use your upper torso to define an open and honest attitude. Yeah. Keep the back straight and tilt slightly forward to demonstrate interest. Children cover their mouths when they're telling lies. As we get older, this subconscious habit turns into nose touching, <laughs> cheek brushing, or the tweaking of the tool shed. <laughs> if you're stroking the nose, caressing sideburns, or chin scratching, these actions can make your interviewer feel suspicious. Right. Avoid touching your face by keeping your hands interlocked or relaxed in your lap.
It's important to concentrate during your interview. Stop constant eye movement or repetitive looks to the floor or ceiling. By moving the eyes around the room, you risk looking devious, apprehensive, or just plain bored. Give your interviewer your full attention. Look and listen. During the interview, don't transfer your butterflies into reflexes like fidgeting. And uh, yeah, um, mm, uh, <laughs> watching your legs perform a neat rendition of river dance under the table is one distraction the interviewer doesn't need. Management training. Channel nerves into simple yet elegant hand gestures to endorse what you say. Yes, that's a nice tie. But obsessive touching or grooming of your garments conveys an element of boredom or distrust. <laughs> well, um, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 um, what, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, yeah. Even if you're certain there's a speck on your clothes, um, leave it alone. <laughs> no one else will notice but you. Keep your eye contact true and steady. But remember to blink. An interview can be intense, so avoid adopting a serial killer stare. Instead, create an imaginary triangle on your interviewer's face and look within that zone. Try not to drop your gaze below the triangle, though. Any further south and things start to get a little intimate. But, you know, uh, uh, uh. Crossing your legs during the interview is agreeable and will not appear as defensive as crossing your arms. It's useful if you point to the interviewer with your knees or your feet. This will help you position your body so you're focused on them alone. <laughs> but don't overdo it. Being physically expressive as you speak shows confidence in what you're saying. Use your hands to roll out answers or give shape to your ideas. That's it. The interviewers think you know what you're talking about. However, don't exaggerate the gestures. You're not breaking moves at the local discotheque. And avoid finger pointing. Instead, motion with your hands palm up, as this signifies an offering gesture. Perfecting your body language requires practice in a pressure situation. So try to train yourself as much as possible. Doing so will help you iron out awkward habits and prevent clumsy moments. Love it. Great interview, guys. Cheers.
see you later. Well done. You nailed it. Hang tight. Your career just might be taking off. <laughs>